Arts 7. Quarter 2 Module 1. Characteristics of Arts and Crafts in Mimaropa and Visayas Group of Island. Lesson 1. Characteristics of Arts and Crafts in Mimaropa. Mimaropa is an administrative region consists entirely of island provinces located in the southwestern Luzon. The term Mimaropa is a combination of the names of its constituent provinces namely Mindoro, Marinduque, Romblon, and Palawan. Mimaropa Region Mindoro Ambahan is a traditional poetry of the Hanuno Omangians in Mindoro. It is traditionally written with the point of a knife on a piece of bamboo. Using the centuries-old pre-Spanish syllabic script called Surat Mangian. Basket weaving is the main source of income in Porta Galera, Mindoro. They use nito which refers to the special vine that grows in the wild. Marinduque. The Morians festival in Marinduque is a week-long commemoration of the life and death of Jesus Christ every holy week. Morian means masks that are made of wood or paper mache, paper mache. Some of these woods come from dap dap or santal tree which are abundant in the province. Mask makers get their wood mainly in nearby forests. It takes months to carve each mask which weighs at least 2 kilograms. The participants use these masks to depict the Roman soldiers escorting Christ on his way to the Calvary. Romblon. Romblon is known as the marble country because all the islands comprising the province have marble. Quarries, the process of getting marbles, on these islands produce raw marble for sculpture and construction purposes. However, before the discovery of these marbles, Romblon had been famous for its traditional weaving and basketry. Handicrafts such as beautifully woven mats and bags are major home industry for their women. Palawan. Tinkop is one of the unique heritage crafts which are original in Palawan. It is a cone-shaped colander harvest basket which is made of hard strip bamboo. These baskets are occasionally made of blackened and natural bamboo, which make the design stand out. The design is created by an extremely refined changing of the under, over pattern of the bamboo strips. The Manungal jar uncovered in Palawan was a secondary burial jar that has existed since the late Neolithic period. 895 to 775 BC, in the Philippines. It served as a container for the dug-up remains of the dead. It is largely made from clay. And the upper portion of the jar, as well as the cover, is carved with curvilinear scroll designs and painted with natural iron or hematite. There are two human images riding a boat located on top of the jar's cover. The first human image, holding an oar with a missing blade, is situated at the back area. He seems to be controlling the oar, bugsay, rather than paddling the boat. The second human image, with arms folded across the chest, is situated at the front. The manner in which the hands of the front figure are folded across the chest is also a widespread practice in the islands when arranging the corpse.
These figures represent two souls on a voyage to the afterlife. Lesson 2. Characteristics of Arts and Crafts of Visayas Group of Islands Visayas. Also known as the Visayan Group of Islands, Visayas is a collection of large and small islands in the central Philippine. The seven main islands are Bohol, Cebu, Leyte, Masbata, Negros, Panay, and Samar. Textile. Iloilo. Iloilo, tagged as the textile capital of the Philippines, is known in weaving patadiang, a native tube wraparound piece of cloth worn by women as a skirt and is usually paired with kimono. This hablan, handwoven fabric used for clothes, is distinctly elongo in color and character. It is often colorful and features geometric designs. It is traditionally made of locally made fibers such as piña, abaca, and cotton. Aklan Piña weaving is an age-old tradition in Aklan, the leading manufacturer of piña cloth in the country. Known as the Queen of Philippine Fabrics, Piña cloth is one of the legacies left to us by the Spaniards during their occupation of our country. This was the prime material used in making barong, tagalogs and saya. Making piña cloth is a careful process, sometimes it takes months before it transforms into a wearable outfit. Negros Island. Cinnamay, a term referring to woven abaca, was the traditional clothing material of Filipinos. This textile is made from abaca twine and indigenous plants similar to banana. Cinnamay is of thin less tissue, but almost transparent and far more durable than the fabrics. Made from pineapple fiber. Cinema materials are used in making gift boxes, decorative accessories, wall covering, draperies, fashion accessories, footwear, tabletop accessories and more. Capais. Capais shell comes from a marine mollusk which is abundant in the province of Capais. Its outer shells are bleached and dried before being pressed or cut into different shapes. These shells are formed into various crafts products like curtains, candle holder, chandelier, windows, and many more. Cebu Cebu is known as the furniture capital of Southeast Asia. Most of the products are made from local and indigenous resources. The materials used are readily accessible in their environments like coconut, cassava, waste wood, or even used paper. Bohol Antekara, Bohol is famously known for its basket weaving industry. Antekara baskets, including other native products such as hampers, home furnishings, wall decors, furniture, bags and fashion accessories, come in all shapes and sizes. These handicrafts are made out of whatever native material is on hand, from bamboo, rattan, wicker, nido, buri, sig id and other vines. Samar. The banig or matsin basi, samar measure around 2 times 3 meters. A banig is usually made from taikog, a special reed grass which grows in swampy, wet, areas along rice fields and has solid, jointless and usually triangular stems. The colorful banigs are more expensive than simple ones. 
From sleeping mats, the weavers have produced other products such as bags, decors, place mats, furniture matting, and other decoration. Festivals Adi Adihan The Filipino Adi Adihan Festival of Calibo, Aklan is known as the mother of all festivals. It is held every third Sunday of January in honor of the arrival of the Santo El Nino in Cebu. The Mascara Festival is celebrated every October in Bacolod. Mascara comes from two words. Mass, meaning crowd, and Kara, which means face. Bacolod City got the nickname of the City of Smiles, because of the smiling faces of the mask. The Pintados Casadian Festival of Leyte is a cultural religious celebration to honor Santo El Nino or the Holy Child. It features the unique culture and colorful history of the province through dance presentations. The word Pintado refers to the body tattoos of the native warriors. Architecture Molo Church is a famous Spanish colonial church and heritage site in the province of Iloilo. It is known for the famous red spires, pyramidal structure on the top of the building, that crown its tall bell towers, and as the feminist church, because of the all-women ensemble of saints represented in 16 statues hanging on the aisle. Pillars Built in 1831, Molo Church stands as a reminder of Iloilo's rich history and a monument for Ilongo artistry. The Ruins Mansion is one of the most iconic tourist destinations in Talisi City, Negros Occidental. It is known as the Taj Mahal of Negros and Taj Mahal of the Philippines due to its romantic history. The ruins is said to be the remains of the ten-bedroom Italianate mansion built by Don Mariano Ledesma Laxon in memory of his wife, Maria Braga, who had died during. The Baclayan Church of Bohol is considered to be one of the oldest churches in the Philippines. According to history, some 200 native forced laborers constructed the church from coral stones. The Baclayan Church of Bohol is considered to be one of the oldest churches in the Philippines. According to history, some 200 native forced a they used bamboo to move and lift the stones in position, and used the white of a million eggs as to cement them together. Constructed the church from coral stones. Thank you. See you next week.